If you saw my previous vlog with the RS, you saw that I, I bought some new tyres and I actually ended up having to buy four new tyres, even though I didn't really need four new tyres. But it appears I made a bit of a cock up. When I bought the car, I pretty much added all the options on everything apart from the sunroof. I thought I had everything on this car and that included the Michelin Super Sport Pilot whatever Cup 2 tyres. It turns out I didn't have Cup 2 tyres. I sort of only noticed the other day because I just happened to be looking at the new tyres at the back and I noticed that the, rear, the new rear tyres, which are the Cup 2s, um, had this wider shoulder where like there's a there's a groove missing that's on the normal tire and that's not on the cup 2 tire my instant thought was these are fake tires somebody has sold me fake tires and fitted fake tires to the car and it's only on closer inspection i realized they're actually cup 2 and the front ones don't say cup 2 at all so now i've got two sets of different tires on the car i'm going to have to change and put the newer uh, tyres on the front again which are the Cup 2 so they've got Cup 2 all round. Now just doing some checks online trying to see what the difference is between the, the standard tyres, well the standard, the, the Super Sport tyres and the Sp Super Sport Cup 2 tyres and there are quite a few differences. Just changing hands because my, my arm was getting tired and if you're wondering why I don't just clamp the camera to the windshield like everyone else does um, that's because whenever I record these videos I'm normally in a massive hurry I'm always going somewhere, doing something, and I always record these videos while I'm doing something else. And so I just get in the car and it's like, I haven't got time to fit something to the windscreen. I've just got to go and talk and do whatever at the same time. So hence having to hold the camera, which is probably completely illegal. There is a difference between the normal Pilot Super Sport tires and the Pilot Super Sport Cup 2 tires. And um, it, it seems that the Cup 2 is obviously much more track focused tyre, less road focused, whilst the, the, the standard tyres are super sports so are the other way around. So it looks like basically what I'm going to end up with now is four tyres which are more track focused than road focused. And what difference is that going to make? I can tell you that since I fitted the Cup 2s to the rear wheels that they there is definitely a difference but I'm not going to talk about that now. I'm going to talk about that in another video but I have noticed a difference um, and I'm actually quite keen to run these tyres now because you know considering they're sort of branded as a track tyre I'm sort of curious to see how does a track tyre work on a day-to-day -day basis you know for a road car because obviously this is my, my daily driver. The general consensus is that the Cup 2 tyres are definitely not very good in the wet because especially because they're the, they've got especially that missing groove I suppose is one of the key issues but they're just not really designed for the wet as much as the normal tyre so I'm quite uh, okay I live in Spain wet weather is not a big problem normally we don't um, fortunately unfortunately don't get much rain so um, I'm probably not going to get much of a chance to test out these tyres in wet weather very often so I mean on the few occasions and maybe two or three times I actually used the other tyres in wet weather they were really good they were splendid those super sports were brilliant in the wet loved those there's so much feel in the wet and so much grip so these I I sort of got no idea what the cup twos might be like so I'm sort of quite keen to try it now and I think that could be quite interesting going forward so here's a bit of a comparison between the two tyres see this is the original pilot super sport that was on there and this one is the new cup 2 which i've got on the rears but i haven't put on the front and immediately you can see hopefully hopefully on the camera you can see that this shoulder is much wider in the sense that there's no this groove here is missing on here so you get a much a much uh, greater surface area here which apparently for track days is what you need because if you remember on my original tyres I really wore them out this shoulder was where I really wore it out when I was on the track days so this in theory should be a better tyre for me uh, for track days um, it's quite similar in other respects but this area here is probably what worries me the most in wet weather driving because that you would think that's great for aquaplaning so there you go that's what I bought that's what I had the giveaway was that these actually say Pilot Sport Cup 2 so they're not Super Sport actually I thought they were called Super Sport but they're not 
The original ones are Pilot Super Sports and these are Pilot Sport Cup 2. So did I fit the wrong tyres to the car? Well, I don't think I actually fitted the wrong tyres to the car. I think I probably just didn't fit the right tyres. But yeah, I'm quite interested to see how these, these tyres fare on a day-to-day -day basis. And obviously, because I do a lot of track days, these are probably better tyres to have. So I'm going to go back to Not Outdoor where I got them fitted the other day, get the front ones changed to the Cup 2s that I've got in my garage, and, and then take it from there. So, but really excited to play around with it now. Um, there is definitely a difference already even just with two of the tires um, changed so but i'll talk about that next time right well i'll catch you in the next video and please subscribe like the video if you can whatever do whatever you think you need to do to share it whatever